Hey Super Swing Traders, I hope you're doing good. Today we're going to take a look at some charts and see where we can identify supply and demand order flow and trade it for income. Let's take a look at the British Pound versus the Canadian Dollar. On the monthly we have a downtrend with new area of supply created up here. And it's about to reach this monthly demand zone that's been tested. So we want to go short, but if you are a counter trend trader, you want to go short up here. If you are a counter trend trader, the weekly is losing momentum to the downside and it's, it broke this trend line, formed this new area of demand and, form, and rallied and then tested it on the retracement and then now it formed a bullish engulfing candle. So if you want to go long, this is the chance to go long. On the daily, we have same thing, broke this trend line, price retraced to this zone, and then now it's rallying. So it's got a little bit of room to reach. It's got a little bit of room for profit. You know, you can go up here. See, let me draw my horizontal line. Okay, so this is going to be an area of resistance and this, this first line is the area of resistance that it could pull back. This could pull back and give you your opportunity to go long and maybe take profit up here because this is where the monthly or the weekly area of supply is this one right here so you gotta if it pulls back and then go up here you can make two to one two, or one to one and then to get up to your profit is two to one so one to one up to get up here to this first line and maybe take off half and take off the other half up here probably just a trade idea that I have I'm not telling you where to buy and sell just uh, just doing this for educational purposes only but that is something if you if that is in your trading plan to do counter trend then this is a pretty good pretty good I mean if you went down if you caught this move and if you caught this move, you would have made tons of profits. But if you miss the move, it's just do not be too late. Just make sure you buy on a pullback. Because that way you have the best risk to reward ratio and you don't lose a lot if the trade goes against you. But like I said earlier, this is a lower probability because our higher highest time frame is telling us to short but it's pulling back and it's losing momentum to the downside so it is giving us some opportunity to retrace back to this zone to short again but if we really wanted to we can ride the wave back up until it reaches this zone to short but we can ride we can back, go long counter trend on the way up okay so the daily is an uptrend daily is an uptrend weekly and four hour are in the uptrend okay so it's an uptrend buy right here buy at these zones like maybe right here The forex market has been giving us a lot of good opportunities lately because it's been it reached an area of demand, broke the trend line, and it's now moving up. So, lots of lots of good bounce reversal plays right now on the in the forex market. Okay, so that is the analysis on the 
pound cad i hope you found this video helpful if you did give it a like and thumbs up and share with this video with your friends and family and hit the subscribe button guys help me get to 100 subscribers i'm at 95 or 96 help me get there and i'll release a good video to celebrate it all right see you in the next video